Hey guys, it's SoFlo Josh and I'm over here at the 2023 Miami International Auto Show and we all we have the all new 2024 Hyundai Kona N-Line here to show you. So the Hyundai Kona has gone a complete redesign. It, most people say it looks like a Robocop, but I, I mean, I'm fine with that. I mean, who doesn't like the movie Robocop? Anyways, let's get into the design of the all new generation of the Hyundai Kona. I really like what they've done with the front and design, having this full width LED bar that goes across the front. Now it's not fully lit up because this is a prototype. It's not going to have all of the production specification and you know, it's expected, you know, all these cars here at this show are prototypes except for vehicles that have been out for a while now. Getting into the lower section, you have active air curtains that actually flap open to bring in air for the turbocharged engine underneath the hood. Really love the overall design of this front end of the Hyundai Kona. You also have little slats down below to bring in more and you actually have even more air curtains right here, which I love the overall design of it. Getting to the side here, just like the previous generation, we're gonna go ahead and have our projector lamps uh, that are full LED. Unfortunately, in the US specification, we have incandescent turn signals for the front end, which uh, pr primarily I don't like. Maybe the fact that this might be a lower trim level, it could be that the higher trim level of the N-Line version gets the full-on LED treatment, but sadly, this one doesn't incorporate that. Getting to the hood, you have one nice bold line that shoots across the top. Middle section empty, and just like I said, same design from the other side. Getting to the side, we have N-Line specific wheels that have an actual N center cap hub, which I like. I don't like seeing the Hyundai badge. I would rather see the N badge when it comes to an N line or an N product. And I have the 2024 uh, facelifted Hyundai Elantra N over there, so I can go ahead and do a video in a little bit. N line gives you this color compared to the other the other uh, trim levels. They are black plastic cladding on the other uh, ver versions. Uh, you also have gloss black here on the mirror caps, full on LED. This actually is black plastic cladding, which I'm fine with. I don't mind having this black plastic cladding because, remind you, there is a lot of airflow that goes across here. So it can easily get scratched with rocks and everything like that. Having this material here is actually really good. Nice paint. This paint is immaculate. It has a lot of flakes. And then, of course, you have a full front end uh, sunroof, which I like the overall design. I mean, it could have been nice to have a panoramic sunroof, but look how much space there is compared to where the, the antenna is. I think it's ample amount of sunroof space. We'll look at that more in the interior. Door handles are finished in the exact same color. And I mean, they feel nice. They feel better than my uh, Honda HRV. My Honda HRV feel very flimsy, very cheap design. That one doesn't actually. Getting to the lower door sill area, you have a nice matte finish design on the bottom. It's kind of like a gray texture. And this section right here, as you see, that would also be painted matte black on the other trim levels like that one over there, or matte gray actually. Get into the rear. You can see we have the same exact design element from the front with the full width LED bar, as well as your LED reverse lights and your turn signals. Actually, both reverse lights and turn signals are unfortunately incandescent. And I even think the brake light is also incandescent, which I don't like. This has the 1.6 turbocharged engine with H-Track. So expect it to do really, really good uh, with all wheel drive system. You have dual exhaust outlet on one side and you have this nice faux diffuser design and the reason why i say faux diffuser design is only because this section right here is covered up if this was open that could be really good for airflow but unfortunately it doesn't have that um but the overall design is really nice kona spelled out across the back and you have a flat design for the hyundai logo getting into the trunk now this one isn't power operated and as you see right here where the license plate lights are at they are not LED, which I mean, I can see people changing it out. You also have a rear camera, which is expected for every single United States vehicle. Getting to the back, very nice, larger than the previous gen for sure. It's gonna have a lot more space because this vehicle is longer than the previous generation. This does not have the power operated. I'm sure you can probably option it in. There is a cutout right here for it, and I 
just looked at the electric one over there which i'll do a video on that as well it has the power operated tailgate so i hope that you can get that as an option or maybe it might not be for the 2024 model but like i was saying very very nice you can open this up here but unfortunately for some reason it's stuck it's stuck here um so i can't really open it up but the overall design is really really nice and i love the way that hyundai has done the rear trunk space area now you have your subwoofer here so that means that this area is going to be more opened up so you can put more stuff here in this cubby area so lowering it down is actually easier than my my uh, honda hrv and i have a honda hrv which competes directly with the kona nice integrated spoiler over here for the end line i believe that is an option i don't think that is standard across the board you have your third brake light over here that is fully led and then your shark fin antenna over there that is gloss black as well but the overall exterior design looks very very nice compared to the previous generation of the hyundai kona but with that being said let's go ahead and get into the interior. okay so let's go ahead and get into the interior just like i was mentioning before the door handles actually feel nice and solid compared to my honda hrv and i'm going to compare it a lot to the honda hrv because i have it and i wanted a kona n-line from the previous generation over here hard touch um except for here this is a little bit soft touch it's not too crazy switch gears feel you know they're plastic they're not too crazy it's a thirty thousand dollar car i mean what's to expect you know you do have um electronic mirror adjustment which is great blind spot detection and everything like that but let's go ahead and get into the interior oh speaking about the interior the seats they are finished in an alcantara and they're also leatherette on the side which is very nice the end logo is actually alcantara based and you then have a nice soft padding up on the top so getting into the interior sorry for the little beeping sound this feels really nice and power seats which is great my sport trim does not get power seats paddle shifters up here for the steering wheel nice end line design red stitching all across the three dots means h the hyundai basically well not hyundai h and morris code uh you have all your modes here for you know the voice activation uh putting music on nice center display i really like the display you have a very open area here that you can go ahead and press and it will go ahead and bring out the cup holders. You can go ahead and retract that just like that. I love that overall design. Heated and cooled seats for the North American version confirmed, which is great. Heated steering wheel too. Drive mode, you have all your drive modes right there, as well as your center locking. That's actually really cool. Parking brake, parking uh, cameras, your wireless, Qi wireless charging, USB type C for charging and for media uh, it actually feels really nice i mean most of it is plastic but it feels overall very very nice solid control start button right here and your switch gear is going to be up here turn signals over here you know you turn them uh, just like normal and you have a nice red strip that goes across the whole dashboard very nice touches i mean it's an end line it's not a full-on end so you would see the blue line but i i like the overall design very very nice I, hyundai really good job and then over here you have a nice center area we can put some stuff and inside of here as well not as big as my hrv but if i'm going to be honest with you i prefer this nice soft padding all across um the uh, top right here you have a large moonroof on the top uh as as i was mentioning yeah it's unfortunate it's not a panoramic sunroof but i prefer having a larger sunroof in the front uh center just you know mirror caps right here not mirror caps the fold down mirrors right here nice bezel a barely bezel you know center area right here for your rear view mirror uh, I like the overall design of this interior. It's very premium. It, it feels way better than what the last generation is. And you know, you get heated and cool seats. The last generation gave it to you, but you know, I'm happy to see that they did not, you know, take that away for the North American market because North America always, always gets messed up when it comes to features like that. And I was mentioning fully digital display here. Unfortunately, I can't have it on because I don't have the key, but you do have your infotainment here and it's actually very responsive, very, very fast. Same exact thing. Look at this. It's a little laggy with this, but then again, majority of people are not going to be using this. They're going to be using the actual Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which for this generation actually is wireless and it's not wired getting into the back seat 
same material up front soft padding over here um, just to be expected getting into the back actually really nice I kind of hit my head a little bit because I had a I had my hat on but overall very nicely designed um, there is a nice indentation here for your head so I would say probably somebody who's six foot three could fit in here very very nice back seats feel good and you get rear air vents the Honda HRV doesn't you also get some nice area right here you have a charging port I can feel it. it's a USB type C down here and you also have a map pocket right here cup holder area right there so you can put your cut your bottles of water and unlike the HRV you get two bottles of water area for you to put your drinks or, or so on and so forth same material up front carried over to the back nice suede material I have to say very very nice I like the overall design uh, so Hyundai's really killed it with the, the design language and the materials they're using in their vehicle have actually gone up over the course of a couple years now I was mentioning the base price starts at 30,000 650 for the end line for 2024 you get 26 32 and 28 mpg which is actually better than my honda hrv but with that being said guys i'm gonna go ahead and end it here thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel and uh, you'll be seeing more videos coming out from the 2023 miami international auto show i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye